was just going to say, you know, like when something major happens, mm. like a big life change. Yeah. How do you get back on track? Because you know, I I feel like sometimes I'm not very disciplined. Um, and I just, you know, you said before, you like the balance, you know, of the areas. You should. I just got the impression that maybe timetabling and you know should I be quite strict with my hours and my time to make sure I'm covering all the bases. Or, yeah. You sometimes you just need time out. So. You do, you do, and, and I can relate to that as well, uh, definitely. I, I, I can relate to that through my work and working with people, but also personal experience, taking mm -hmm. a time out, taking time to, to, to go away um, and come off the treadmill and just reevaluate life completely and think, okay, if I carry on doing what I'm doing in five, ten years, I'm going to have bigger and more serious issues to deal with but if I can recognize that now and break it and and then just literally you know re-evaluate myself and, and think what's important to me then I've got a better chance of moving forward I think that's generally either people's finest they are or it can be a deliberation that takes them forever really but I think recognizing it and holding your hands up is, is, a, is a big step in itself where some people they, 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 don't, they don't want to go down there. They, they don't, they, they literally, they're aware that things aren't right. They sort of, you know, fool themselves and think that things are right and never do nothing to change it really. And that's key as well. So I think that, you know, it takes restructuring. It takes, mm -hmm. you know, stepping back a bit, having a time out and, and, and focusing on, on things and reevaluating things. Did you set yourself, after you have a bit of time out, did you give yourself you know, like, like point where you go, all right, I've had enough time out. So did you start, I'm just thinking yeah. about using my week better, yeah. my time better. Did you set yourself I up? I did, yeah, very much so. I started step by step. And mm -hmm. during my time out, as well as having my time out, there was a lot of self-pity as well, and a lot of feeling sorry, and, 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 I, and I got fed up of it. I thought, well, at some point, I'm going to have to do something here. Because if I carry on feeling sorry for myself, I carry on being this victim and I'd trained for a very long time and I was never the most talented athlete. I just got there through sheer hard work and determination. To have that taken away uh, was a massive uh, blow at the time. Just when I felt I got to a level where I could do something as well. So I felt like my whole identity everyone stripped away. And with that, I lost a lot of people as well who I thought, you know, and, and a lot changes really. So yeah, there was the, the, there was the time out of business, but there was a time as well where I thought, well, you know, I'm going to start getting more productive. And I took things one step at a time. And I did the weekly planning. I did set goals in terms of where I wanted to be. And it was amazing, really, because when I sat down and set goals at the time, did I believe I could do it? There was a lot of uncertainty. I did believe it was possible, but there was a lot of uncertainty, definitely. But step by step, manageable targets, I started believing. And then I found myself in situations where I envisioned in my mind and thought, I'm actually there, I can't believe it. It was just, you know, I, I couldn't believe it. And one of the biggest moments for me was getting back into, um, well, getting into, uh, you know, one of the biggest, one, one of the biggest uh, national radio time slots. And I thought, I'm, I'm, I'm here, I'm, I'm back again. I'm talking about what I really enjoy doing and, it's, and, and, and working for various uh, businesses and teams. And you think, well, step by step, managing it. And, you know, it's amazing how when you do set your mind to things, that things will sort of come into your conscious awareness and, and you can go for it. So it, it, it is reevaluating things. It is thinking about what you want, long-term, short-term, and it is actioning a weekly plan 